Okay, this is our new product. It's called a KT pin marker. It's an air engraving system, CNC controlled. As you can see, the regulator is on here, which is, is fairly important. You need to have that where you can actually adjust it as it's working, because um, you, know, you can adjust the um, amount of impact and how hard it's, uh, it is going. The material, thin material, you need to go a bit fine, otherwise it'll just wreck it and just go drive the pin straight into it. Uh, it, it has a magnetic base, so there are electromagnets on the bottom, which is operated with the magnetic clamp. So when we push the magnetic clamp, that works that one. This one turns the air on so that the actual engraver can work. And the other one is to hit, the hit, hit that one as a start marking, or you can start it from the computer. When you first receive it, you'll probably have to put the regulator on it, put the airline on here, run the multi-pin plug from that to one part of the thing across to the other part which is the power supply etc 240 volts in on this one USB and the multi pin has only one switch on the front on off switch so basically we will hook it up to the computer now turn that switch on and then we will do some marking with the software that's provided okay when we receive the machine we get the software and a manual manual is in English, it covers a couple of different models, it covers a, a free a fixed standing unit in the, in, as well as the one that we are um, importing. Okay, software, instruction manual. Make sure you do read the instruction, install it correctly. I've installed it in Windows 8 and it works on Windows 8, okay. Um, it says to install the, the, the software, but you also have to, step two is in USB pin drive installation, so you have to install the drivers to run the pin drive setup. So make sure you turn that on and switch on the controller power before you open the software. Okay. Okay. Controller power is on. The desktop icon is called Thor X6. So we click on that. Brings up the software. If you have a problem with the software or, or the drivers, it will come up and tell you that you've got a problem or it's not turned on. If it comes to this stage, everything's working. I have test label here, which I've already done. You have to, you have to look at the software to just adjust all this, but this is just a sample. So from there, we can go over and we can test and have a look at the machine. This is what we're going to try and print out. So we come from the software got a piece of aluminium in there which is not magnetic of course but I have a magnetic piece of steel underneath it which will hold it. The airline is now attached so I, to line it up the pin is going to start right in the top left hand corner of the sign. So what we had on the, soft, on the software is going to start there. First thing we do turn on the magnetic switch. Now you can give it a wriggle and that will actually make it sort of seat properly. Turn on the air switch, if you turn, don't turn that on, it won't actually engrave, it'll just move over the surface and the engrave will not work. And we can start it from here, so if we start it, it'll, it'll um, engrave the item we had on the top. Very noisy, so you probably need to be ear for earplugs and that sort of stuff as well. I'm going to push the green button and start it. machine there returns to its um, origin point and is ready for the next one. At the start I reduced the pressure because I reckon it was going a bit too hard so you would, can adjust this pressure while it's working up or down to increase how hard it hits but if it's hit too hard and knocking the material around cut your, cut your pressure back.
Okay, that's the one we just did on aluminium. Here's some samples already done before on stainless steel. As you can see, it can mark circular as well. So if you've got a gear or whatever, you can actually mark a gear circular. It will do QR codes, but I haven't been had much luck with it. Didn't want to read them from there. So it may have to need a fairly dark, dark material to differentiate on it. But uh, there's the same one. That's all stainless steel. And as, as I see, the round circles work fine. This is my this is my attempt for um, doing uh, on acrylic. Uh, the first one there you can see didn't work out that well. It had the safety paper over top, so I removed the paper for the next one. Cut a bit better, but acrylic doesn't uh, have a very good magnetic, so the hot, it moved in the corner there. But that is still a circle or a round uh, object. Um, and I tried again the. Uh, marking with for this for the um, QR code but still couldn't get it to read properly with a um, QR reader. This is a very common usage for a pin marking machine for in, uh, in doing uh, identification tags. Um, as you can see the serial number there 1502008 you can set that up as a serial number and it will actually rotate by one every time you do an extra tag so if the next one will be 9, 10, 11 etc so you can do a serial number and keep um, adding them on the other thing you can do it will actually set up on the date of the computer so it actually will print today's date when you're actually printing out as well so there are two good little features as well um, and uh, as you can see, that's not too bad a printer.